The Deacon was a xenomorph-like creature created by an engineer being impregnated by a trilobite. In regards to their physical appearance, they superficially resemble a xenomorph drone but differ in some key areas. They lack the biomechanical features found on xenomorphs, instead they have smooth skin covering their gaunt physique and a dark blue colour to them, with long spindly appendages and lacking any sort of tail. When first born, they are similar in size to a human, but their size once fully mature is not known. It can however be estimated to be around 12 feet or even larger. They also have an elongated head which tapers to a point at the back of the skull, which is used to tear out of their host's dead body. Deacons seem to bypass the chestburster stage and instead emerge from their host at a much larger size and almost fully formed, killing the host before they awake from their comatose state due to the deacon's large size displacing internal organs, bones and other innards of the host's body. The deacon's top jaw contains blunt teeth like a herbivorous animal, but their lower jaw has sharp needle-like teeth, as well as their inner upper jaw which can extend outwards, resembling a cross between the inner jaw of a xenomorph and the mouth of a goblin shark. When they are born, unlike chestbursters, they are seen to have an umbilical cord attached to a placenta similar to viviparous animals. After touching down on LV-223, the scientists and crew of the USCSS Prometheus discovered chemical A0-3959X-91-15, also known as the Black Goo, an extremely potent mutagenic pathogen created by an advanced alien species called the Engineers. Curious of its effect, the android David infected Charlie Holloway, one of the scientists with it, by spiking his drink with it. Once infected, Holloway passed it on to his partner Dr Elizabeth Shaw, impregnating her even though she was unable to bear children. However, this was no human baby but instead a trilobite, which Shaw was able to remove prematurely before it could emerge from her abdomen and locked it inside the med pod. Later on, when she was under attack by the last engineer, she opened the door to where the now matured trilobite was locked, letting it out to attack and impregnate the engineer. Once it reached suitable maturity, the deacon erupted out from the dead engineer's body cavity. So this was a requested topic from a subscriber and it was a very fun and interesting creature to cover. I really liked the design of the Deacon and thought it was a shame it didn't get much screen time and didn't appear in the next film, as originally, in an earlier version of the script, the Deacon was supposed to be in the film a bit longer and chase after Shaw as she was carrying David's head and it was going to narrowly miss them as they board the engineer's ship and leave. I think that this was a huge shame as this could have made for a very tense scene. The Deacon was also originally going to be a Xenomorph that came out of the Engineer and was dubbed an Ultramorph that was going to be a massive Xenomorph type. One concept looked like what ended up being the design for the Neomorphs in Alien Covenant and another had eyes which would have been interesting to see. In one of the comic books, it shows what happened to the Deacon. It says that while wandering LV-223, it came across all the black goo and ate a load of it. Then, since it ingested so much of it, it mutated out of control into a huge mass of flesh as large as a mountain. However, I left this part out as it came out before Alien Covenant came out, before they knew where they were going to take the story to in the next film, and I don't, I don't think it's considered canon now. I actually saw Prometheus in the cinema when it first came out, and while I thought it was only an okay film at the time, after a second viewing, when it came out on Blu-ray, I grew to really enjoy it, and I actually like it a lot now, and think it's a really good film, and very underrated. If you weren't keen on it, I definitely recommend giving it a second chance. So I hope you enjoyed my video about the Deacon from Prometheus. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more like it in the future. Then why not leave a comment saying what you thought about the Deacon and the movie Prometheus. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.